Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're having an issue with Adobe Photoshop. This is that it cannot use some sort of action or tool because there is not enough memory. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And we are going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should come back a registry editor. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now before we proceed in the registry, I would suggest that we create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, we could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. You would just select the file tab and then export. File name, I would recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Extra range should be selected to all. And then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to restore back from this backup, you just would select file and then import and navigate to the file location. So again, very straightforward process. And now we're ready to begin. So you want to go ahead and double click on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Adobe, and then Photoshop, and then there should be a version number under here. That's fine if it's anything from 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, etc. I have 120, so I'm just going to just left click on that. And now on the right side, you want to right click in a blank area, select New, and then select D Word 32 bit value. You want to name this value Override Physical Memory. MB. Again, override physical memory MB exactly how it appears on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. Now you want to double click on this. Set the base to decimal. In the value data field, you want to change it to whatever numerical value reflects your system's physical memory in megabytes. So, just as a quick reminder, there's 1024 megabytes in a gigabyte. There is one gigabyte of RAM installed on this computer, so that's what I'm going to set it to. So 1024. In your case, it's going to likely be 4, 8, or 16 times this size, but you might just need a calculator on your computer just to multiply it out. So pretty straightforward. Once you have it exactly how it appears here, again, base should be decimal before you type anything into this value data field. You want to go ahead and select OK. Once that's done, close out of here. You will need to restart your computer and then attempt to open up Photoshop and then hopefully your issue should have been resolved at that point. You can also attempt to run the disk cleanup utility as well, but I believe this should be able to resolve your problem that I'm confidently not going to show the disk cleanup, but you can just search for disk cleanup, run a disk cleanup scan on your computer, but that should probably not be necessary. But anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.